Okay, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter two is miles per gallon. Okay, um, a car's miles per gallon (MPG) can be can be calculated with the fo following formula: MPG is equal to miles driven divided by gallons of gas used. So write a program that asks the user for the number of miles driven and the gallons of gas used. It should calculate the car's MPG and display the result. Okay, so. Basically, the, the program is going to ask the user to enter the number of miles driven and the gallons of gas used. And it's given us a formula to, to find the MPG. And it's, the formula is miles driven, which, which, which the user is going to enter, divided by gallons of gas used, which the user is going to enter. So we're going to basically calculate MPG with this formula. Okay, so the program, the first thing the program wants us to do is say, write a program that asks the user for the number of miles driven. Okay, so number of miles driven. So let, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and ask the user to enter the number of miles driven. So I'm going to call the input function, and I'm going to ask and say, please enter the number, enter the number of miles driven. Okay. So once the user types in something, whatever the user types in this case is going to be stored as a string and because we can't use strings in calculation we need to convert whatever it, whatever it is it types which is going to be stored as a string into a number so we can use it in, calcul in calculation so in this case I'm going to go ahead and convert everything that user has typed here into a float and I do that with a float function and I'll surround everything that is it typed in, in parentheses let me go ahead and space this out okay so because the input function returns everything that the user has typed as or stores everything that the user, that the user has typed in, as a string, we need to go ahead and convert it into a number, in this case a float, so we can use it in, in calculation because we can't use strings in calculation. So I'm converting everything the user has typed into a float. And I do that with a float function and surround everything that, it, that the user has typed in parentheses. And once I do that, we need a place to store it. That's going to be the number of miles driven okay so miles driven so I'm going to go ahead and create a, var a variable to store to store that and that's going to be miles driven okay so now we're going to have miles driven when the user types in that we're going to go ahead and convert it into a float and store it in miles driven okay so the next thing we're going to do is say ask the user for the number of miles driven and the gallons of gas used so the next thing we're going to ask the user is um, the gallons of gas used. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole string, paste it down here, and just change it to please enter the gallons of gas used. And once we do that, again, whatever the what, whatever the user types, in this case using the input function, is whatever the user types, okay, when the, when this question is asked, okay, is going to be converted into a string it's going to be stored as a string it's going to be returned as a string but because we can't work with strings in calculation we need to convert whatever the user has typed even though even though it's a number even even if the user types in a number it's going to be stored as a string so we need to go ahead and convert whatever the user has typed again which is going to be stored as a string we need to, we need to convert that into a float so that we can use it in calculation and the reason why I'm using a float for this one mouse driven is because the user can drive 2.5 miles. The user can type in 2.5. And the reason I'm using floats for this one is because the user can type in I use 2.5 gallons. Okay, the user can type in 2.5 gallons for two two and a half gallons. So let's let's go ahead and convert this in, you know both of them into a float. So the first one is going to be mouse driven. The second one is going to be gallons of gas used. Okay, because the program says Write a program that asks, asks the user for the number of miles driven and the gallons of gas used. It should calculate the car's MPG and display the result. So we've been given the MPG formula here. Miles, miles driven, we have it here. Divided by gallons of gas used, we have it here. And that's the miles per gallon. So once we do that calculation, we need a place to store it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create another variable. I'm going to call it miles per gallon. You can also name it MPG if you want. But I'm going to go ahead and, and, and create a variable. I'm, I'm going to call it miles per gallon. And the formula is right here. Miles driven, which we have here. So miles driven divided by 
gallons of gas used, which we have here. So divided by gallons of gas used. Oops. I tend to put semicolons because in, in, in I I code in Java as well, and sometimes I forget to, you know, it, it just happens because it just happens because you use um, semicolons in Java. It just happens. It happens sometimes when you're using Python. Okay. So now we have miles driven, we have gallons of gas used. We've calculated the miles per gallon. The program said it should calculate the car's MPG, which we have here, and display the results. So all we have to do now is to, to, is to display the results. So I'm going to use that with you do that with a sprint function and pass in a couple of arguments. So the first thing I'm going to pass in is a string, and I'm going to say the car's mouse per gallon is. And I'm going to go ahead and concatenate it with miles per gallon because we have the miles per gallon stored in miles per gallon variable. So I'm going to go ahead and con con concatenate, it with, concatenate it with miles per gallon. But the thing is, with, with Python, Anytime you're concatenating this str a string to uh, float, you can do that. But the thing is, it, it, the program will complain that it cannot, it cannot do that implicitly. So that means we have to do it ourselves. We have to do it explicitly. So it, it will complain that it can't convert a string to a double. In this case, mass per gallon is going to be a double. I mean, no, not a double, a float. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's 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 kind of like the same thing. It's close. But in Python, we got, because we use a float, I would say float. So it will complain that it can't convert a string to a float implicitly. So before we fix it, let me go ahead and run debug this so that we can see the error that it says. So I'll um, debug it and I'll save by saving the file, desktop, and save it here in Python. So I'll create a folder. Now call it mouse per gallon. And I'll save mouse per gallon here. Okay, so now let's debug and let's see what happens. All right, so please enter the number of mouse driven. Let me just make this look more. Okay, so I'll stop it and debug it again. Please enter the number of miles driven. I'm going to enter 20. And please enter the gallons of gas used. I'm going to enter, um, oops, what am I doing? I, I meant to make this look good too. All right, stop it, debug it one last time. Please enter the number of miles driven. I'm going to enter 20. Gallons of gas used, I'm going to enter four. And see the, the, the error, and it normally displays, um, let's see somewhere here oops I'm trying to trying to trying to um, I'm trying to pop up the arrow I think I closed it let's see it's not this one yeah it's right here okay <laughs> it was hiding somewhere there okay exceptions okay these are this is the error okay so it says can't convert a float object to string implicitly so it cannot convert let me stop this it cannot convert a float object which is this variable to a string implicitly okay so you can you can go ahead and, and do it you know in ourselves we can go ahead and do it explicitly ourselves so in this case one way to do it you know to just do it is to use a string function str and convert the float function, I mean, the f no, not the float function. One way to do it is to convert convert the float, which is miles per gallon, into a string by using the string function. So the string function to convert the float into a string. So basically, we are converting this float into a string, and we are concatenating a string to a string, which it can do implicitly. OK, so let's try that. Debug it. I'm going to enter 20, enter 4. And now it says the cow's mass per gallon is 5.0. We can go ahead and concatenate this to another string and say mouse. So I'll put the space here. And enter, oops, not mouse, mouse per gallon. Okay. 
So 20 and 5. And now the cost miles per gallon is 4.0 miles per gallon. I don't know how, uh, how true the numbers are, but it, we, we did what the program wanted us to do. We've put in the formula correctly, and it's given us the values. It should be right. Okay, so if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. Bye-bye.